computer. Yeah, typing in people's names. Well, she wants to stop playing. Oh, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. Let's see. I'm live on here. Let's see. Yep. All right. Let me call y'all back. I'm on live. All right. All right. Okay. Hey everyone, it's me, it's me, it's me. Hey everyone, it's me. It's time for the lady t show. 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 I mean, lady t thinks that bling, I'm tripping. Uh, that's okay. It's all right, it's okay, we're gonna have fun anyway. Oh. Now I put my phone on Do Not Disturb, hoping that I will not get any calls tonight. Usually, but then I didn't put it on my, my tablet, my, um, my iPad. I hope that if any phone calls come, that they won't get through to my, um, iPad because usually my phone rings and my iPad rings too. So we'll see. Get out of there, Miss Kitty, before you become a topic of tonight's show. Get out, little cat. Miss Kitty, move. I always gotta threaten her. She just, oh. Okay, guys, so. Get your hot, oh, is this on? Get your hot glue guns. Get your hot glue guns. Hey, Manda, Manda, Manda. The craft show was, let's see, how can I say it without being rude? Um, It was a lot of vendors there and only sold three things, but that's better than none. But it was vendors basically shopping from other vendors because it wasn't a lot of outside people there. I don't understand. They didn't advertise it well or whatever the case is, but there was no... Mostly everybody that was there were people that were performing and vendors. And everybody was walking around to everybody's table trying to see what other people had and buying what some of the other people had. As a matter of fact, these earrings I have on right now, I got these earrings from one of the vendors. So that tells you anything, if that tells you anything. Good, everybody's getting to say hi. Thank you, I got this from the, the craft show. Okay, it's for y'all and I see only two likes. Can y'all please hit the like button? I'm starting to sound like everybody else that do the, their videos. Um, and if this is your first time coming in, thank you for stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back because y'all know I'm crazy. But y'all chose to come back anyway. Miss Kitty, I really don't want you to be in the video tonight, okay? For real. You're just doing too much. 
you just doing too much. So I guess because Ron and I here, you just doing too much. You doing too much? Miss Kitty, come here. Come here. Come here, Miss Kitty. So you're going to be hard-headed now? Okay, bye. Get out. Anyway, so, as you know, I put up, let me see, it's too much glare in here. I put up, um, uh, let's see if I can see this. First off, let's just say that we are happy and excited that justice was served today in the George uh, Floyd case. So let's just say that and just leave it right there. And oh, child, I should not be trying to read text messages while I'm doing this. But listen, so this light is bothering me, y'all. Let me see. Y'all know what this... Anyway, so I went to the Dollar Tree. Can I hear... Can y'all hear me? I gotta turn this volume off. So I went to the Dollar Tree with um, Rhonda. Y'all can say I got my nails done, right? It's about time, right? Right. Um, Went to the Dollar Tree with Rhonda because I was getting ready for this show. And... She saw how I was struggling with the other canvas that I did with the flowers. It wasn't really struggling. It just took a long time for me to do. You remember the one with the girl with the red lips and the red flowers? So, um, she was like, she saw me, she was like, I thought you were struggling and I figured there's a better way for you to do it. But she didn't say anything until we were in the store and we had walked past the flowers because the flowers looked like crap in that particular store. And so, uh, Excuse me. We were on our way to the um, cash register. And when we got to the cash register, before we got to the cash register, she saw these other flowers. She saw these. She saw the lays. You know, these are Hawaiian things they call lays, L-E-I-S. So she saw these. And she was like, Teresa, look at this, look at this, look at this. So I looked. I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. She said, you could make the lamps out of these. I was like, I don't know about all of that. So long story short, I got bags of these leaves, bags of them, because I didn't know how many it was going to take to do one lamp. And um, I wanted to make sure I had enough since I never used these before. Oh, excuse me. I have not been yawning until just now. And you can see how small these uh, flowers are. They're very small. They're very small. And I'm like, how are we going to do this? And they also have these little plastic pieces in them. You can see that? And on some of the other flowers, they have the white plastic, just like this, but it's really white. So, I'm like, um, I don't know if I can use that. She was in the store trying to show me how to do it. She was like, just gather them up like this and do this and do this and do this. I was like, girl, I don't got time for all of this. So we got them anyway. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So the first lamp that I did, I should have bought it up here. Which one was it? It was like a, the purple one. It was, well, it was this one. This was the first one that I did. But what I did was, okay, so you can see here, you can see what I just showed you. The other one was clear. This one is white. Okay. So what I did was I popped the string. I just cut the string. And when I cut the string, all of the flowers came off. Okay. All of the flowers came off. So what I did with that one was I took the flowers. Now you can do it this way. I actually enjoyed doing it this way. For some strange reason. So I took the flowers. And because I couldn't put them on there. Paste them on there individually. Because that would have really took too much time. So I took a toothpick. And I put the toothpick in the flower. 
like this. It's not hard, but my fingers. So I just put them on there like this. One by one, one by one, one by one. I just put them on here like this. So, because I was like, Lord, I don't know what to do with these doggone flowers after I had put, cut the string and put them on there, right? So, I filled this up. I glued it so the flowers wouldn't come off. The, so. Now, in the meantime, on this lamp, what I did was I took my white styrofoam um, floral my white styrofoam floral foam and I cut it I cut it to like from here here just a little bit of space because you don't want the styrofoam to touch the light bulb so I cut that little space right here and I glued it inside of the lampshade inside of the lampshade making sure that it wasn't close to this because that's where the light bulb was right right so i did it that way and then i made the flowers like i said with the toothpick and stuck it in the floral foam and that was good it was nice it was nice that it came out like that i stuck it in there it gave me height you know it gave me variation so i did that but the second one i did now mind you i did three of these the second one i did how did I do the second one? I didn't cut it. I did not cut it. This is what I did. I'm going to show you what I did. And I, me like a dummy, I didn't print out my, um, <laughs> I didn't print out my image. So I took the lay. Can y'all see? And I twisted it like this. No cutting. I just twisted it. And then I gathered it together and put it on the image and just adjusted it as I needed to. So let me get an image so I can actually show you on the lampshade what I did. And I probably shouldn't even use this lampshade because I'm probably going to need it to sell some lamps. However, I... um. Do I have an image? Get an image. Get an image. Let's see. Get an image. Because I should have done this. And I wasn't thinking about doing this. So let me see if I actually have an image I can use. Here, if not, I just have to print one out real quick. And again, I use my images. I, I print my images out on um, transparency paper. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have one. So I could just print this out real quick on transparency paper. That I told you guys I got the transparency paper from Walmart. I mean from Amazon. And you have to make sure you get the transfer... I mean, not the transfer paper, but the transparency paper, the transparency film. You have to make sure it says inkjet for inkjet printers, because if you don't, it's not going to work properly. And you'll know when you have the proper one, because I, I got one. I got a package and it wasn't the right one. So now I have a package of transparency papers that I'm going to have to find something clever to do with, because I'm definitely not going to waste my money. Got me? So, um, let's see. Um, let's see. Put that right there. Let me find an image on my Cricut. And just print one out right quick. You guys see that image, right? I'm working with a new image. Trying to. So let me just print her out real quick. And I want to make her, because they got this big old box. I really need to, let me not use her because she got too much going on. Let me use somebody else that I already used. She got too much going on. I don't feel like doing all that cutting and pasting and splicing stuff. 
So I'm just going to use her. And I'm going to make her. She don't need to be 10. That's for sure. Oh, because it's all the way down there. So um, I'm going to make her 5 by 5. The lampshade is about six inches. So I'll put this in my printer. And my printer is an ink inkjet. I think, let me, first of all, let me put this paper in here first because I think something else wants to print on here and I don't want to be wasting my paper. This printer just drives me nuts. Let's see. Let's see what it's going to do because I don't want to waste my transparency paper. So let me see what happens when I hit make it and then continue, send it to the printer, take the bleed off, send it to whatever printer you want. And I have like three or four printers in here. Oh, so let's go and print that but it's printing it on the regular paper so I know now that there's nothing left in the queue. So I can print this again on this 3700 printer. But actually I could just use this too. And this is just, um, Well, I can't use it because it's going to be on the other thing. I can. I sound like I'm confused, y'all. Okay, so. Here's my image. Y'all see the pretty girl. Everybody's using her. And I'm just going to cut it out. And you have to use... I use my Podge. To put it on there on the shade I really need to y'all can't even see what I'm doing let's see can I tilt this down so y'all can see what I'm doing move girl <sighs> my cat I swear oh did y'all see that don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Turn it. Okay. So, you see, I'm cutting her out. And I cut around her head because you don't need all of that stuff on there anyway. But you cut the image out. Y'all, I really don't want to use this lampshade. But I can actually, I have three more coming, so they were supposed to be here yesterday, but as per usual, always something dumb happening around here with the mail. So at the event, that was a, the event itself, the people that were there, the vendors, they were so nice. Everybody was so nice. It was beautiful. And it was amazing to me that everyone was so just, everyone was nice. There was no, you know, they had several people in there selling jewelry. They had several people in there selling clothes. They had people selling food. They had people selling rocks. Um, chakra, or chakra, however they say it. Chakra. Um, you know, those things. They had all kind of people in there. People sell, they weren't selling makeup, but they were selling like skincare stuff. So they had stuff like that. And I sell paparazzi and there was a lady in there that was selling paparazzi. But paparazzi says that you could, it, it, it can only be one vendor per, um, one vendor per event for paparazzi. So... I wasn't able to go and sell my paparazzi because I know if I would have been there, I would have been able to sell my paparazzi. 
So y'all, I'm putting my... Oh, what is this? That's what happens when you get nails and you haven't had them for a while. So what I always do is when I put mine on, I make sure that you can't see this. Okay, this seam right here, I make sure the seam is here in the back where the cord is. Okay, you cannot put your image over that seam because it's going to leave a, um, a noticeable seam. And you don't want that. So, that's what I do when I get ready to make it all. So, I take my girl and I make sure I put her where you see that seam. You see the seam in here? You want to make sure she's directly across from that seam because you want that seam to be back there with that cord. You don't want her face to be over there by the cord. You don't want her face to be near that cord. You don't want to be close to the cord. You want it to be the opposite direction of that cord, which I'm pretty sure y'all would know that. So this is what I, I want to put her on there. So now I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge her. Can y'all see me? You want to put enough Mod Podge on here so that she doesn't lift. You know what? And a matter of fact, I'm so glad I didn't print that out on that transparency. You know why? Because I didn't use transparency paper. I used vinyl. I used printable vinyl. But remember I told you before you could use printable vinyl. You can use um, um, sticker paper. You can use mailing labels. You can use any of this right here. It's just a plain old piece of paper. Printer paper. Let me screw her up here so you can see. Okay? So, now I'm going to put her where I want her. And it's directly across from that seam. You don't want that seam to be anywhere but where it is. You don't want it to be near her or anything. So you put her on with your Mod Podge. I do not put my Podge on the front. I don't put my Podge on the front because I'm not that precise with the Mod Podge that I will not get it on the shade. So I don't put my Podge on my picture. However, if you want to put my Podge on your picture, you can. I just, I don't do that. I just make sure I put it on here. Enough of it. Be generous with it. Put it on there so she can stick and she won't be lifting up. Okay? So, I did have on my canvas when I was at the show. Her face did, well, when I was in the car going to the show, her face lifted up a little bit off the canvas and I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I can't sell it like this. I can't sell it like this. But I mashed it back down and it stayed. But that was with the printable vinyl that I used. But even with printable printable vinyl, put my Podge on there so you can know that it's going to stick and not come back up. Because printable vinyl with that sticky stuff that they use is not so sticky that it won't come up. So you want to just guarantee that it's not going to come up at all. So just go ahead and use the Mod Podge, even with the sticker paper, the mailing labels, or whatever it is you use, and make sure you... What's talking? Wait a minute. I hear something talking. It's supposed to be on mute. Let me see. Okay, I guess I didn't have it on mute. I had one part of it on mute. So... Y'all can see the beautiful girl. Hey, girl. Now, I'm not going to do the petal one, the one I did. I'm going to just show y'all the easy way to do it. And I showed you once. You take the, the lay, you take this lay, and you twist it just like this. Twist it just like this. And then you can start looking. So where am I going to put this? Where am I going to put this? So, what I like to do is I like to go around her, her forehead first. I like to start in this area right here. Why? It's just I like to start there because that, that leads me to what I want to do with the rest of it. So, because these have these white things in them, 
the white thing, you want to make sure that when you're gluing it on there, that you're positioning it so you don't see those white things in there, okay? I don't know what they're called, but some kind of white tubing. Even with the clear ones, you want to be careful about doing it. So, with these, you got to be careful. <laughs> I wish Rhonda was here so she could show you. Yesterday morning, I got up yesterday morning and made three of these lamps and did the canvas and beaded three cups to take to this thing. And I did sell the three beaded cups. Um, Rhonda was trying to help. She was trying to assist me do the canvas, the big orange canvas. <laughs> and she kept putting the hot glue on there. And she kept burning her fingers. <laughs> she was like, I'm not meant to do this. I'm not meant to do this. I was not meant to do crafts. I can't do this. I cannot do this. She had me cracking up. So anywho, I'm going to start right here. So right on her little head right here, I'm going to put some glue right there. And then I'm going to stick this lay right there. Stick her on there. Now I'm using another um, glue gun, which I don't, it's the little one. I don't like it because it, anyway. So make sure you have a good glue gun. My glue gun is still packed up in my suitcase from yes from Sunday. So that's why I'm using it. So y'all make sure y'all use a good glue gun. Now when you start doing this, you want to make sure that the flowers are where you really want them to be. You don't want her face covered. You want everybody to see her beauty. So you really don't want to cover her, her eyes. You don't want to cover her eyes up. If you do, you can cover your eyes up because one lady, Tracy Simmons, she likes to do the um, cover up the one eye. She calls it the sexy look. Okay? So she'll have like, she'll have this eye covered up and that other eye. But it's to everybody's preference how you want to do it. So as you go, you just start putting the glue wherever you want your petals to be. And sometimes you just glue a petal and then you glue a petal to a petal to get what you want. Because you, me, I don't want her face covered. So now I got these petals right here. So I'll take these and I'll just glue them to each other. And you want to glue them in a spot where you don't see the glue. Because it'll leave a little circle right there. But you just want to glue it in a spot where you don't see the glue. Hold up, Charlie. Let me put my... Uh-uh. We're not going to do that. I just got these nails done. Oh, uh-uh. No, ma'am. Where's my gloves, honey? Where's my gloves? Uh-oh, my gloves are missing. I got to find them because we're not going to tear my nails up. I just got these done. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Where's my gloves, y'all? Now I got to stop and find my gloves. Because I said I wasn't going to do this. Come on. If I can't find my gloves, y'all. Pray for me, y'all, so I can find my gloves. I don't know why my gloves are not here. But I did have some finger. I don't even see those. I had some finger. Where's my gloves, y'all? I can hear y'all saying, we don't know how we're supposed to know where your gloves are. I don't see them. Oh, boy. What else going to do, Harpo? Harpo! Ooh, uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. Where are my gloves? Miss Kitty, did you move my gloves? Okay, we're going to have to be super careful because I can't find my gloves. So anyway, if you can see the pattern, you got the pattern to be totally yours. It doesn't matter how you fix. I guess it does matter, but I'm just saying. Everybody, when you start doing this, you'll look at it and you'll be like, hmm, I don't want it right there. Or, hmm, maybe I do want it right there. You'll be deciding as you go along how you want this done. And you want to make sure that this uh, white piping, whatever that is, 
is not showing. So you really have to take your time when you're first doing it so you can place your flowers where you want them to be. Now see, look at her. Right now, the flower is trying to be all up in her eye. So now I have to decide where I want these petals to go because I don't want it in her eye. But I also don't want it to look janky, so I got to be very precise at what I'm doing. And now I got to be even more precise because I don't want my nails messed up. Huh. Okay. So you can see her eye. You can see her eyes. You can still see her eyes. Right? But you'll be going back to fix this later, so you don't have to worry about that. Basically, what I like to do is I like to just make sure I got her hairline covered all the way as far as I want it to go. And usually I'll go, I'll follow this. That's why I leave that on. I follow this around and then I take it and go up like this. So let me show you that. Because, you know, this is a little head right here. But you want to make sure you put enough glue on there so the glue will hold these flowers because they're voluminous. It's a lot on ooh, it's a lot on these lays. These lays hold a lot of flowers. When I tell you that they hold a lot, believe me. And you just want to keep gluing and keep going down. Don't worry about the um the shade because the shade is gonna be cool. And you want to make sure that you're gluing the flower, not the tube. You want to glue the flower. Okay? Now, you see how it's on here? Y'all see how that's on there? Now, it's glued right around there to where I want it to be. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist her some more. It's not on her neck because I want her neck to be her neck. You want to see her neck. And then you can decorate down here. All right, you want to twist it, and then you want to go back up. You see? You see how I went back up? I went back up. Now, you can still let her hair come down to that length if you want to. That's up to you, but you still want to make sure you see her neck. So you want to pull it over a little bit so you can still see her neck. Okay? Then, when you do that, you just take your glue gun... And you just start gluing again where you think you want your lay to sit on here. It's, the control is yours. So you decide where you want everything to sit. The control is completely yours. You just do it wherever you feel like is right. And that's what I do with mine. I just, wherever I feel like is right. Because even Rhonda, she was looking at me trying to figure out how I was doing it. But it's a complete art project. It's just how you see it as the artist, as the creator of this. It's how you see it. There's no wrong or right. If you wanted to leave it like this and she looking like Paul Bunyan with that thing hanging on there, you could leave it like that. Okay, if that's what you wanted to do. But, you know, you just go and you decide how you want it. So I sit her back on her thing so I can have more control. Now this part right here can be a little tricky. If you, you know, because you want height. If if you want height, everybody might not want height. I like height. I like big hair. I like height. So, but not all the time. But again, you have to take your glue gun and you go in right here where this flower is or right in here. And you start putting your glue right there and you start gluing your flowers to those. Make sure you, you're mashing it on there so it'll glue and stick. Now, these sticks that I'm using, I don't know where I got these little dumb sticks from. I don't like it, but I'm doing this from demonstration purposes so you can see what I'm doing. And this is my little gun because I left my big gun in my suitcase that I took with me Sunday. So now, you can see that the flowers are inside, which is okay as long as it's not going to be touching the lampshade, as long as it's not going to be touching the lamp, lamp I was going to say, I put this sucker on upside down, but I didn't. Girl, I was getting ready to start crying on, on the live. I don't mind crying on the live. 
So I have this little piece left and I have this hair on the inside and I'll show you how to remedy that. Now I got that little piece left right there and I'm going to put it right here. Now I have more of these lays as I told y'all. We got several of the same kind because we didn't know how much it was going to take to use. How much of, how many of them we were going to use. Now, if I wanted to finish this like this, I could be done. I could be done as far as me putting the flowers on. But I have another lay and I have these too. So I can paste, I can hot glue these on, not with the, with that toothpick, but I could just put it right here if I wanted to. And I will hot glue the three pieces of flowers together and put it right here. I don't want a lot of empty space, but I don't want it to be too full. But again, it's your discretion however you want to do it. So I will put these three right here. But since I'm not using a toothpick, I put a little dot of glue in the middle of the petal. You don't need a whole lot. Stick the next one to it, as long as they're in the middle. Stick the next one to it. And that wasn't in the middle, Teresa. Put it in the middle. Y'all, Mr. Softy gonna make me backslide for real. And put another dot right there. Put that petal in the middle. And keep it moving. Now that you have all three pieces together, you can take it and you can glue it right here. If you don't want to glue it right there, find somewhere else to glue it. You could even glue it right here. Since this part right here is a little naked, you can glue it right there. You just want all of, wherever you want it to be, that's what you want to do. So I'll take this right here and I'll put a nice amount of glue right there. Then I'll figure out where I want it to go and I'll put it right there. Okay, and this is how you do it with lay, the lay. I, I hate saying that word, <laughs> but it's called a lay, L-E-I. Now for this part that's hanging down on the inside, again, you don't want it to touch your light bulb. So you take your uh, petals as you see them, the ones that'll be hanging over too far, and you just start grabbing them and then you uh, put some glue on it and you put it on the shade. Put them on the shade. Put them on the shade. Put them on the shade. Okay? And just glue them so that the light bulb won't have any problems being the light bulb trying to burn stuff up. Okay? So you see, I'm going to put a little dot right there and I'm going to glue it. I'm going to glue a petal right there. Okay? And that's basically how you do it. It's not hard. You just have to be the judge of where you want your flowers to be. And even this right here. I'm not sure that I like that right there. So I'll take some flowers and I'll put some flowers right there to make it look a little more appealing. So here I am with my little dot. Dot. Put that on there. Come on here. It'd be done dried up by the time I did it. Put it right there. You don't have to put all three if you don't want to. Or you could put more than three. It's, it's your project. You do how many you want to do. Bingo, bango. So I got that there. And I'll put that there. It'll look better than that little mush up right there. So I'll put some more glue right here. And then I'll take it and I'll put it here. Be sure to put it someplace where I won't be covering up her eyes. And to some, that might still be a little bit too close to her eyes, but to me, that's fine. Okay? And you can just zhuzh it and do what you want to do with it. If you want more height, let me show you if you want more height. And I, I did this yesterday. I actually took a popsicle stick. I took a popsicle stick and I glued some flowers to the popsicle stick and then I put the popsicle sticks tr strategically inside of the flowers that's up here because I wanted more height. So it gave me more height when I did it like that. I just, and I, I cut mine in half. I'm just showing y'all. I cut mine in half so it wouldn't be such a long stick. 
and I glued the flowers on here and then I put the flowers on here like that and put that in there. But I had to glue the stick to the white part that's in there for height. If I wanted the height to go up, that's what I would do. I would put the stick in there. Let me just show y'all right quick. It's very easy and I will be forever grateful to Rhonda for seeing those um seeing these lays because she she was like girl i need you to do this another way because you were struggling i didn't realize she was really paying me that much attention but apparently she was and she don't want me to have to struggle she wants me to be able to do this now y'all i just had the glue sticks before i came on i don't even see the glue sticks where are they Y'all, y'all be like, she's so unorganized. And I wouldn't even argue with you on that note. <sighs> Here they are. I just get excited and then I get frustrated. That's what happens. So here's the little dumb glue sticks. I think I got these from the Dollar Tree. No, nah, -uh. these came from um, these came from AC Moore, not the Dollar Tree. So, here's the stick. Well, here's the stick. I already put one on there. Put another one. Put another one. On there. Just put it on there. And then, take your stick find the space even if you find the space on your shade find the space and glue it in there and then you get that's how you get your height that's how you get your height let me see what some of you guys are saying let's see uh-oh i don't know what's the top let me go i'm going to go look what in the world come on oh where's the comments <gasps> Uh-uh, did I just lose the comments? Oh, my goodness. I just lost the comments. Oh, Lord. Here they are. Okay. Let's see what's happening over here. Um, Good evening, everyone. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Um, let's see. Minda, my phone is charging very slowly, so I may have to come back and check out the video. I'll stay as long as I can, though. Okay. Um, pink nails. Love them. Thank you. Those nails look lovely. Thank you. Actually, my husband picked out this color because I called him. I was like, what color you want me to get on my nails? And he said pink. And then he wanted the butterfly. Can y'all see that butterfly? The butterfly. He wanted the butterfly, so I got the butterfly. Um... Hi, Lady Jane. Derek Chauvin was convicted. Okay. Hello, Lady Jane. This is Lady T channel. Yes. They are beautiful. My girl, Lady T, is showing cool flowers. I love these flowers, Lady Jane. Prayers for Miss Rebecca Jean Roberts, who worked at Bob Evans. What happened to her? Prayers to all who need them. Yes. Love you, Lady T. Love you, too. Hey, Cola076 Web. Hello and good evening. Hey, So Deep. So Deep. What's up, girl? Um, See, this, and this is what I'm saying. Hey, The Candle Link. How you doing? Thank you for coming by, y'all. Um, Yeah, Creative Mom. The Popsicle Stick was, that was like, God was like, listen, girl, this is what I need you to do. Because I didn't know what to do to get my height. And you don't even have to break the popsicle stick. It depends on how much height you want. But basically, that's how I did these. Um, and you see that it didn't take much time, right? So you can knock out a lot of these at one time. So I think what I'm going to do is tomorrow, because I can't find these anywhere anymore. I still have three coming, but for some reason, they were supposed to come yesterday. They still didn't come today. I don't even have an update. But when I did the tracking number... They keep saying it's going to be delayed. And the lady that sent me the um, lamps, she called the post office and they said 
they have a lot of people, um, they have a lot of shortage, so they can't, they're delayed a lot. Anyway, so that's, <sighs> so I'm going to be making lampshades and lamps. Of course, I got to find bottoms and do all of that, but we'll figure it out. Or I'll make my own bottom like I did with my lamp. So all you got to do is get a pack of these or get a, several packs. Now, this one came with three. This one came with three separate ones in it. Which is cool for a dollar. This one has three different ones in it. And these are, they're a little bit tangled, but it's three different ones. And it doesn't matter if they're tangled because if you do my method and do it like this and twist it like that, you'll be able, you don't have to worry about it. Okay? Now, when I cut, when I did the orange um, lady yesterday, I took two different colors and put them together, which came out so pretty. Now, let me just show you all of the colors. I think we got, we didn't get every color, but we got the bright colors because some of the colors were really dim. So, this is the orange lady that's over there. I, I used these. And as you can see, I cut some of them too. But I use these, so these are orange and yellow. These are yellow with the orange in the middle. And I just used them. I twisted up one of these with no, two of these with one of the yellow um, and orange. Then I'm just going to put these down here. I just want to basically show you the colors. Now you see this color right here. This is like lavender and purple. This is yellow and pink. This is so stinking pretty. I don't think you can really see the color as well. But this is pink and yellow. These are the other ones. The other. I try to put all of the same colors in the same bag. Now I took apart the blue ones because I did a blue lamp too. And I put them in here. Because once you cut the string, they're going to just start dropping everywhere. So you want to make sure you have an extra bag to put them in. So you see these blue ones here. I got these blue ones. And I got these blue ones. They are so pretty. And you can even take the blue ones and mix them up together if you want to. But some people might say, no, nah, that don't really match. But it's in the blue family if you wanted to do it. You're the artist, so you could basically do what you want to do. And then these are the darker blues. So you could take this blue and put these two blues together. And mix them up like that. It just depends on what you want to do. Because you know what your eye sees. And your eyes might see something else. That somebody else doesn't see. It's all about your imagination. And your creativity. So you can knock out. Really for real. You can knock these lamps out. You see how quickly I did this right. You can knock these lamps out in what 15 minutes. 15 minutes. You want to be more precise. It'll probably take a little bit longer. But I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. I would have put some more down here. Down here just to make sure, you know, that's cohesive. Okay, we got that right there. And then you just take this and you design it any way you want to down here. Put whatever you want. So I put um, bling on mine, you know, silver bling. I put silver bling down here on one of them. I should have brought the lamps upstairs so you guys can see them because um, I got all the different ones and they all are dressed differently so no two of them are the same i did have somebody from yonkers new york said she wanted the pink one that i did um sunday so hopefully if she really wanted i'm gonna really send it to her so that's how i did it what y'all think about that what do you all think about that let me look at it on my phone so i won't be turning my back to y'all because that can be Annoying. So let me go. Oopsie. Here I am. Oopsie. Uh oh. We don't want to see. Oopsie. I don't want to hear myself. So deep. Thank you. Great idea on the popsicle sip. Yep. Lady T, those flowers are beautiful. You are so gifted, girl. Keep on doing what you do. Well, thank you so much, so deep, but. I really give the credit as far as these flowers are to Rhonda because Rhonda was like, girl, you got to do this another way because you struggling with those roses. However, 
I still like the roses, and I'm going to, I didn't do any of these lamps with the roses, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do the roses on one of them, if my other ones ever come. I'm going to do the roses on one, and I think that's going to be fabulous if I do the roses on one of these, because I haven't done that. And then, I mean, listen, Mother's Day is coming up. With these flowers, the sky's the limit. I did it on the canvas. I'm going to show, let me get up and show you all this canvas. Let me see, I got... Let me see. How am I do this? So I don't want to knock anything down. Move, Miss Kitty. I'm trying to get something. Miss Kitty. And then I got, I think they call these lilies, calla lilies or something. I don't know what they're doing upstairs. Sounds like they're fighting or something. Not my nose, not my boogie. Got a little pony in that race. So, here is the orange goddess right here. <sighs> Isn't she lovely? So, this was Rhonda's idea to put gold around here and gold around here. And you see her gold earring. Tell me that's not nice. This is sexy. I love this. I love this. Who would want this on their wall? But again, you could use any color you want to use. And I glued all of these on. No tricks on this one. I just glued all of these on. So I didn't use any popsicle sticks or anything like that. But I just glued them on. with, And I didn't cut them. I twisted. I just twisted. And I twisted about four... Four bunches of these, four single bunches of these, I twisted. And this will happen. <laughs> I said, This is what happened. <laughs> this is what came out. And because this image is so gorgeous on its own, the flowers just brought out her beauty. You see all of this on here? This was already on here. I didn't do anything but put this image on here. And this, see, right here, because I didn't have, see how this. Is lifting because I didn't put any Mod Podge on there. This is just the um, printable vinyl. And I didn't put any Mod Podge on there. So that's why she came up. That's why her face came up when I was in the car. I was horrified. I was like, oh my God, I can't sell this like this. But nobody bought her. So I get to glue her down. So just make sure that when you guys get your images, make sure you purchase your images. Because you don't want nobody coming after you about an image. I purchased my images. Miss Kitty, move. Ooh, this can't get on my nerves. I purchased these images from Etsy. Etsy. So, you can go to Etsy. Sometimes they're 99 cents. I guess it depends on demand. Sometimes they're higher than that. But, always get your images from somebody. Because if somebody come, talking about you stole my image. I ain't steal nothing. I purchased it. How about that? So, there you go. And my husband loves this picture. He loves this picture of this girl. So, I, you can even, on the computer, you can even reverse her. If you want her to look the other way, you can reverse the image so she can be looking the other way. And I did do that on, did I do it on a cup? I think I did it on a cup. I reversed the image. Because sometimes I just get sick of looking at it the same way. So, I just reversed it. It's just a multitude of things that you can do with these images on canvas, on the lamp, on a cup, on a plate, on a tray, however you want to do it. But everybody on here is creative, so I'm pretty sure you guys will come up with something beautiful that I would be like, oh my God, that is so beautiful. But these are, I just love these. I love doing them, especially now that there's a quicker way to do them. But I also want variations, so... I'm going to do a lampshade with the um, mesh, with the decorative mesh. I'm going to do one probably with black hair or brown hair. I'm going to do one for the lamp, but I'm going to have to cut them shorter. It's going to be, um, it's going to be great. I'm, I'm going to do it. It's going to be great. So I'll probably do one and then show y'all, oh, excuse me, how to do the one with the, um, the mesh. There's also some people that are doing them with 
the um the tool the t u l l e um and baby when i tell you i seen some of these women do this stuff with the tool and i straight up got intimidated and i was like oh m g i can't do that but i can do that all i got to do is do it so um that's what i have for you tonight that's what i have for you tonight and I'm so proud of, oh, why do this thing keep falling? Keep knocking me in my head. So I'm really actually just proud of myself and doing this. It's really easy. It only took a few minutes. Let me see what you guys are saying. Doing these divas are becoming easier. They really are. They are becoming so easy. And these flowers are beautiful. Listen, and I got these. They all came from the Dollar Tree. They came from the Dollar Tree. And they have two or three. Most of them have three of them in one bunch for a dollar. And I'm telling you, you can't beat that. This is better than buying the flowers at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Because you get way more of these petals. And I just love them. I didn't even see them. Rhonda was the one that found them. Doing these, yep, they're becoming easier. It's no need to stressing on doing it a hard way. Just look, you want to get it, get it done. That's not so much of your time being taken away. I'm not gonna say wasted, but uh, you know, you can move on. You could do like five of these lamps and sit outside. I'm gonna take mine outside and sell them too. She said, So deep said, That's right. I love Etsy. Um, so does hello, Ruth. Where's Ruth? Ruth is in here. Hey, Ruth, I didn't see you. Yes, that Im image is mesmerizing. A beautiful 3D look to it. That's my husband. The candle says, I love Etsy also. So Deep said, yes, I love mixed media art. It may look nice with hair of various colors and styles. And I, the one, the yellow one, it has two types of yellow in it. I did that. Um, Ruth said, I did some with braiding hair. And I would like to see that. I really would like to see that. Do it with braiding hair. That sounds cool. I actually saw a lady, um, a lady on was she on Facebook? She was on uh what was she on? Let me see. Let me see if I can tell the truth. She was on um she was on what? YouTube. No? Yeah, I think she was on I don't know. She was either on YouTube or Facebook and she had used I saw she had used some braiding hair. But she also used the bling wrap. She also used the bling wrap as part of the hair. And I saw that. I was like, wow, that was creative. She used some of the bling wrap as part of the hair. She used some of it and was using it as part of the hair. I was like, now that's cool. That's cool. And I like looking at other people's stuff too because people just can help you. If you're stuck, you ever hear about um, writer's block? Sometimes you, you're writing and then you just can't go any further because you're stuck. And sometimes that's what I get when I'm um, crafting. Sometimes I just get stuck. Or I feel like it just becomes monotonous. I'm like, I got to do something different. I got to do something different. So I look at different people's things. And then as I'm looking at them, I start getting more ideas. Or I start figuring out what I want to do. But sometimes it's good to watch other people because... They can show you a different way to do it. They can say, like today, I made, um, you see that? Can y'all see that? Y'all can't see that. I made the Chanel bottles before. I think I showed y'all those. Uh, this. Now, you can see, you can, this one's a little broken up right now because it fell a couple of times. But people do these Chanel things in all different kinds of ways. So you can look at somebody and look at the way they do yours. Um, Beverly, Stunning Creation, she does them. Um, and some other people do them too. But if you look at all of them and then you come up with a design, you'd be like, wow, I come up with my own unique thing. I haven't seen anybody do any of them in pink. Um, and I started a blue one, but something happened with the blue one. But I'm still going to do a blue one. But this is what I'm saying about creativity. You can look at other people's stuff. And you don't have to copy it. You could just take it and make it your own. And that's one of the things that Beverly says. She says, I don't mind people recreating my stuff. Just make it your own. And then give me credit for it. I don't want credit for these lamps. I just want people to do them. Make them. 
you know, if you want to shout me out, that's cool. But these things are, this is my new love. That you can just put these flowers on here. And by it being spring, so you can put some more right here for more height right here. But I was just showing y'all. I'll do it later because I'm not going to let that lamp go to waste. Um, By it being springtime right now, you know, they have these beautiful colors out. And these colors are fabulous. And they had more colors that were a little bit more... They weren't as vibrant as these colors. That's why we didn't get those. Because we do like bright colors. And um, it's just... It's fun. It's fun. Um, Soul Deep said, just do it. Yes. Yes, inspiration from others is dynamic. That lamp is gorgeous. Thank you, Ruth. I have four downstairs. I have a yellow one. Yellow, pink, blue, and this purple. Like down here. And I did those yesterday morning along with that big um canvas and when you do it like that and you twist them and you put them on there i'm telling you it's like this you do it like this you do it and and you're done you move on to the next thing and it's, to me it's just i was like oh my god like i didn't know i could do that <laughs> i'd never thought of it and if we hadn't walked over there Going towards the registers, we wouldn't even seen that. We wouldn't even seen these lays over because they they didn't have them in the flower section. They had them over there. Oh, uh, excuse me, by the kitchen utilities, utensils, the kitchen utensils. <laughs> they had them over there, and I was like, okay. And you know what? You can even if you wanted to be different and you wanted to be um. Ruth, don't feel bad because we can't find them here. It seems like they're only in certain parts of the country. And then as soon as they get in the store, somebody will go in there and mostly it'll be one person to go in there and buy them all up. And then they'll sell them on Etsy or they'll sell them on Marketplace or they'll sell them on um, some other site. And I saw the ones that I purchased, I purchased from um, Marketplace and I purchased from Etsy. And so I purchased three from Etsy, no, six from Etsy, three white ones and three black ones. And um, these other ones that's supposed to have been coming yesterday, I purchased those from um, Marketplace. And I just put in my area and somebody responded and I got, well, I'm still waiting for them. But it's not her fault, it's the male fault. Um, yeah, and the canvas... I see people doing the picture frame canvas or the pit, the picture frame, and I haven't done that yet. Um, but right now, I'm focusing on something else that I'm going to be trying. And I, if I if I can do it, I'll show you guys tomorrow um, this one particular thing that I'm working on. Um, and I think that's going to be nice, too. So it's just all of this stuff is just about your imagination and how you see it. Um, cause all of us are individuals and everybody, all of us have talent and we can even learn from each other. I like it when y'all come in and y'all give me suggestions about doing something because as far as art is concerned, you never stop learning. You never stop buying supplies and you never stop learning because it's always something new, something different. Even if it's not something that's on trend, it's something that you came up with. And it's yours, so you always it's always going to be cost involved. It's always going to be, always, always. So, you know, I got boxes of mirrors. I'm 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 waiting for my mind to tell me what to do into making this mirror. I still have those beautiful fans. I'm just waiting for the right time to do it because I don't want to mess it up. So I took this one apart. I took this one apart. Because it was too bulky to try to make the mirror with. So, I kind of have an idea what I'm going to do with that for the mirror. I'm just waiting for the rest of the inspiration to come. Because, listen, materials are high. Even if they cost a dollar, you don't want to be wasting material and just messing stuff up. You just want to, you know, be able to do what you see in your head. And sometimes you do have to mess up. That's how you learn sometimes, too. By messing up. And... Yeah, I mess up. Mm -hmm. I mess up a lot. But how else you going to learn if you don't try it? So, 
If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Even with these. Uh, excuse me. I hate when I start yawning when I'm on the program. But even with these, you know, if y'all have a suggestion, let me know. But I'm serious about having to make my own shades because you just, it, you can't find these lamps. You just can't find them. And if you do find them somewhere, like on Amazon, they sell them for $12.99. You get free shipping. But I'm not paying $12.99 for one lamp. But it depends on how much you sell it for. So if you get a lamp for $12.99 and you sell your lamp for $25, you made your $12.99 back. So you got double because you made it back. But it all depends on what you want to do. I just think $12.99 is excessive for a $1 lamp. That's my opinion. That's why I was looking around and I found it on Etsy for $5 each. And the total cost was shipping and everything was like $26. So I got three lamps for $15 and then $9. Yeah, $9 for, um, so it was like $24 for shipping. $9 for shipping. So the price that she paying for one, I got three, basically. But you got to look around. So, even though the lady told me that she doesn't think they're going to make them anymore, you still shop around. You still shop around. You still shop around. But, we need to learn together how to make these lampshades. And then we can go to the store and we can find... But guess what? Even if you don't find a lamp, you can you can um, improvise. And watch, I don't find it because I want to find it. So, the Dollar Tree... Let me tell you, the Dollar Tree has some good stuff. I don't know. Anyway, they have these lamp, these lights, these um white push lights. They're push lights. And when I tell you they are so bright, I can't look at them. But they are so bright. And even if you don't have a lamp like this and you make your own, you could just take that push light and put it right in the shade. And that's your light right there. That's the good thing about being able to improvise. Being able to look at something and see it for another purpose. Or you can get string lights. And I don't... There's some string lights that I wouldn't recommend from um, Amazon. Because they just don't last long. The lights that I put in the lady head that I... One of the lamps I have. Those lights do not last long at all. I put those lights on um, the fairy lights. I put them on my husband's tic-tac-toe board. And before the end of the night, the lights were gone. They were off. But they have much better ones on Amazon that are, are brighter and they last longer. And they have remote control lights. So you can look into that too as um, an investment for when you want to make your own lampshades and make your own lamp. You can use those in there as well. There's just a multitude of things that you can do to improvise. You just got to sit there and think about it. One of my sisters, I went to the store with her and she was like... um, you just stop and you just look at things where your mind be at. Because the way you be looking at stuff, you just, she said, oh, I get it. You trying to figure out what you're going to make with that, right? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I, I stand there sometimes and I just look. What am I going to do with this? The candlesticks that I bought the other day, do you know you can use that? That just came to my mind. You can you hold on. Let me show you all these candlesticks. I think I showed y'all already, but... These candlesticks, let me move over here so I will fall out this chair. Because I don't need y'all laughing at me if I fall out the chair. Because it would be funny, but I don't want y'all laughing at me. Now these, these are hard to find, period. When Ron and I went to the store the other day and I saw these, I was having a fit. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they got them, they got them. I'm going to have to get these, I'm going to have to get these because you never see these. But you see how short this lamp is? This, this is a little short behind lamp. You can make yourself a shade and you can make your little, um, put something on there. Or you can even sit it on there like that if you wanted to. And then put a light in here. And that's your lamp. That's your lamp right there. That's your lamp right there. Yep. Glue that thing. 
glue this part right here to that in the middle in the middle bam you got yourself what you got your own lamp glue these together make sure you use a strong adhesive not not hot glue gun that's not gonna work for this use um e6000 or uh, some other strong adhesive to put this together and put that lamp on there that lampshade on there like that bam and then you can um take this lampshades and you can embellish them with bling and put it on there like that and that's a whole lamp that you just made for three dollars really two dollars yeah three dollars because you get the the um cardboard from um the dollar tree a three dollar lamp or four dollar lamp if you want to put that light in there and bam oh i just taught myself something i just completely taught myself something that was cool though wasn't it that was cool and you just this is hollow so if you really wanted these to stay together you could put some kind of uh some dowels in it, some thick dowels get the thick dowels from walmart or from the hardware store lowe's uh home depot or whatever if you want to make sure it's more stable you can put it in those holes the dowel put it together glue that bad boy together put that e6000 on there and let it sit overnight and as you know dollar tree stuff is not always even so you want to glue it on there to make sure it's even because you don't want it to be too many can you see that it's not even so it shows a little lip right there but you decorate it with your bling wrap i might do that tomorrow then i might just do the make the lamp and bling wrap it like that and if you didn't want to put you know it's up to you how you want to do you, you can put these two ends together like this if you wanted to you won't be able to use the dowel but you can put these two together and put it together with uh e6000 let it dry overnight and you can put it on there like that with your lampshade and bam nobody else has a lamp like that what you can do that you can do that you can do that so what do y'all think about that that's an idea you know and then you can paint them any color you want to you can make your lampshade any color you want to they do have different color um poster board at the dollar tree by jot i would just get the white ones but you and you can paint them black you can do it's just oh my gosh oh my gosh you can get the poster board with the different colors the big ones I'm talking about. You can make three, four lamps out of that. It's just what you want to do. I think this idea that I just came up with is really cool. And I am just think I'm going to have to try it. I think I'm going to have to try it. I'm going to glue these together tonight with the um, E6000. But I'm going to put the two square parts together because they seem to sit better. And then I'm going to glue them together and I'm going to make me a lamp. That's what I'm going to do. Because I already have the round light. And I will just make a lampshade. I'll get... I have the um, the embroidery hoops. I'll use a small embroidery hoop. And I'll take the cardboard and I'll make my um, lampshade. Like Will. Will's DIY. I watch his. And um, I, I'll make it like that. That's a lamp right there. A whole lamp. You don't even have to go to the store to find the Dollar Tree lamp, Ruth. You don't, you can make your own lamp with this. So sometimes, sometimes we just have to find ways to improvise. Because when I made my lamp, I didn't, I couldn't find any of those Dollar Tree lamps. So y'all know what I did. I took a soap dispenser and I made the lamp with it. And it's sitting downstairs in my living room. There's all kind of ways we can do things. We just got to imagine. That's what I like about imagination. You just, your mind can just take you to different places. You'd be like, oh, I never thought of that. That'll be cool. Now that's cool. That's cool. And it's just a little bit taller. Okay, let me show you guys. It's only a little bit taller than this one. The height difference is not that big. 
if you wanted to put your lamp on there. You set that sucker on there like that. Now, because the lamp is round, you can put the two round pieces together. So, you know, you got a round shade and then you could put the two round pieces together. But then you don't have to. It doesn't have to be round and round. It can be what you want it to be. You know, it's just, it's what you want. And I'm digging this, y'all. I really am. I'm digging this. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm digging this. And if I can figure out how to make a a square lampshade, I'm going to do that too. But in the meantime, I'm really digging this. This is something that you will, nobody else has it. Because you made it yourself. Huh. Like me. And you MacGyver something. <laughs> yes, ma'am. No lie. That's just what I'm so used to MacGyver and stuff. It's just like, listen, we're going to do this. So I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. I'm going to put this hot glue on here. Bingo, bango. Put this hot glue on here. Stick this one on here. Stick that on there. Voila. Voila. But don't do this. Make sure you put um, your strongest adhesive on here to put these two together because you don't want them to come apart. Unless you might change your mind you want to reuse them, then don't put that on there. But I strongly suggest that you do this. What was the other comment? I didn't see it. Maybe, yeah, E6000. You can use E6000 or, um, I don't know, that Dollar Tree glue, um, the little one like this, I have a whole lot of that. You might could use that too, but to be on the safe side, I would use E6000 or something comparable to E6000 because I just wouldn't want it to come apart. So, you can spray paint this any color. Even with these, you can spray paint these. These bases. I have never tried to spray paint the lid and, I mean, the shade. And I don't want to try that because I don't know how that's going to come out. But it might come out okay. Or crazy glue. Uh-huh. Yep. Anything that has a reputation of having a strong hold is something that you want to use. That's something you want to put on here. So... That's what I would do. I would use E6000 because that's what I have. And then you can decorate this thing because it has all these little grooves in it. So you can go in there and decorate those with, um, you know, bling wrap or whatever you have. It, the sky is the limit. Like, you can just really go crazy doing different things with these. I think that it, I just think that it would be cute. That's just, I think that would be cute. It's different. And then you just put one of those Dollar Tree um, lamps, um, lights in there. The push light, put that in there. Bam, that's your light right there. E6000 is very good. It's very strong. They have a, a low odor um, E6000. I haven't seen it again. I got it once from Michaels, but I haven't seen it again. So, but it's it's low odor, but it still works really good. I did use it. I did. I'm trying to find that push light, y'all. But I don't see it. But it's just a round push light. You only get one for a dollar. This one is big. It's a, a it's a pretty nice size. I don't know where it is right now. It's somewhere around here. But um, mm hmm Yeah, I know, right, Ruth? See, and you, I wasn't even thinking about this. You see how that just came to my mind like that? This, you can make lamps all day long. Make your own lampshade, get your embroidery hoops, your rings, embroidery rings, and be making lamps all day long. People are like, where you get that from? I made it. What you mean where I get it from? I made it. It's just, listen. 
that was a good idea. That was a good idea. So, I'm definitely going to be trying this. Especially tomorrow because it's going to be raining. And, um, yeah, I got to make 12 cups tomorrow for somebody. For a car dealership. I got to make 12 cups for a car dealership. So, whenever they sell a car, they want to be able to give them, you know, a cup and say congratulations for buying a new car. So, I'll be doing that, Lord, Lord willing. The mind of a crafter, take the ordinary and make it extraordinary. And you are absolutely right. Because I wasn't even thinking about that. And that, that's what came up. That's, I'm proud of that. That's a good idea. In my opinion, that's a good idea. I wouldn't take it down and put it on the just one because that's just too short. Even though it's kind of about the same height as that, but that's just too short. In my opinion, that one's short enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could just come up with all kind of things. Sometimes I just sit in my office like this. Well, it used to be called my office. Now it's my craft room. And I just look at the stuff that I have. And I'm like, what can I do with that? What can I do with this? How would that look? And then sometimes I just go for it. It'd be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know it was going to come out like that. But the mind, I'm telling you, the mind is just awesome. So I'm looking around at stuff that I have over there. You know... You, if you like um, farmhouse decor, you can dress this up, you know, or di distress it. I don't like the distress look. I don't like the distress look at all. But somebody else might like it. You can't always make something that you like. You have to come outside of the box and think about other people because even though you might think it's ugly to you, it might be beautiful to somebody else. My sister, um, my craft sister, um, Cynthia, said that. She said... Don't say your stuff is ugly or is whack or whatever. Ugh. Excuse me, y'all. But some somebody else might like what you don't like. Somebody else's trash is somebody else's treasure. So you can't you you have to think outside of the box sometimes. And that might, if you sell your stuff, thinking outside of the box might also get you some more sales. Because you don't necessarily want to just sell to one specific group. Because all money is green. So, why not make what you make available to other people? I saw somebody make, um, um, what's her name? Go Tracy. Tracy Gordon Simmons. I saw her do an Elsa. She did a uh, canvas with Elsa. And she had, she used the bath, the, sh the bath, um, sponges. You know, those bath sponges at the Dollar Tree? She used those. She took it, she took it apart, because you know they're all scrunched up. She took it apart. And she twisted it and bunched it up and did what she did with it and made the hair for Elsa. And I'm trying to tell you, it is so pretty. But she said, I've never seen nobody do this. I'm going to do this. It's almost like using the um, decorative mesh. I took one of these apart. I cut it apart. And when I tell you, these things are so long, but... When I cut this apart, I didn't have the patience to try to do it on that limb because I was trying, Sunday morning, I was up before the sun came outside trying to do these lamps and the canvas and the cups. And I got it all done before 12 o'clock and I had to leave at 1. So I had everything done. But look, she took this and she cut it. I'm going to cut it because I'm going to use it. She cut that little string. Ooh. She cut that little string. You just got to get that string. And y'all know I'm trying to work with these darn nails because I haven't had on nails in a few weeks. So I'm trying to work with these nails. Gerald, are you still on the line? Yeah. Super chat me. Super chat. 
Okay, so I if you can, I don't even know if you can. I love creating. It's so therapeutic. Yeah. So you see, you see, look how long this is. It's like a daggone intestine. Look at this. Look how long this is. That's the bath sponge. Look how long that is. So, okay. You can imagine using this and zhuzhing it together. Zhuzhing it, just putting it and, you know, making it zhuzh. Just, I learned that from the lady doing um America's Next Top Model. She always used to say that. Zhuzh, zhuzh. Just smashing it together. Looking at your girl and see how you want it. Oh, this is nice. Do it this way. Do it this way. Now, this way you have a little bit more leeway. or You could just do a bunch. I tried it. I tried it Sunday. I tried to put it together like that while I was scrunched up and then tie it together and make it, you know, one little bunch. And it came loose because it wasn't, it wasn't right. I said... Forget it. I just threw it to the side. I said, I'm not going to do this right now. That wasn't part of what I was supposed to be doing anyway. But this opens up. Put your arm in there. You know? You can just do all kind of things with it. Any, You can make this a dress on this girl. You can make a dress. You can make something out of here, out of this, and decorate it. Make her a dress like that. That'd be a nice little dress down there. Put it up there like that, and all kind of stuff you can do. It's just, <laughs> it's just my imagination. Y'all remember that song? Anyway, so it's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with it. Even if you do it like this. You can do it like that and bunch it. You can do it like that and bunch it. Tie it together like that. Your mind's on overdrive. It is, right? <laughs> I need to go to sleep. So you just take it and bunch it. You can just do it in just all kind of ways. You can do it. Okay, I'm going to do this and you can even take this and wrap it around itself. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. And then go to the next bunch. Here's a bunch. Here's a bunch. There a bunch. Everywhere a bunch, bunch. And now you got a poof. Listen, she don't have to have all of that hair. She, why she can't just have a poof? She can have a poof. Right? She can have a poof. It's all on what you want to do. What your mind tells you to do. Then you try it. And then, how you know you're not going to start a trend? You can start a whole trend. And people be looking at your page like, Woo, that's nice. How'd she do that? So, you can just be a trendsetter. Use a twist tie. Uh-huh. You can use a twist tie, a zip tie, whatever. Uh, those, what they call them, Chanel sticks. Or pipe cleaners. We call them pipe cleaners. Um, anything, basically, you can use to put that thing right there. But I have, I don't, I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. You can put it in like, um, uh, what the girl name is? Um, Tracy. She had hers on a big canvas like this orange one. She had that on a big canvas. And she put... Elsa's hair came all the way down to the end, edge of the canvas. And she used the white one. And it was real. It was so pretty. It was so pretty. So that's why I was saying that we can cater to everybody. We can, you know, do things. And even though I don't like farmhouse, I just don't like it. I can even do that and distress this out. How do you know who's going to like it? And if I do it my way, I might like it. Oh, <laughs> Gotta stop it. Kelly Barlow and um what's the other child name? Bargain Bethany. Now they make some cute stuff. Kelly Barlow is really, really um farmhouse. 
farmhouse chic. She loves farmhouse. So most of the stuff that she does, she distresses it. Barg and Bethany distresses some of her stuff, but not as quite as much as um Kelly Barlow. But some of this stuff, some of um Kelly Barlow's stuff I really do like. Most of Barg and Bethany stuff I do like because she she's not straight farmhouse. She just does other different things. So but it's all up to to, you know, again, our imagination. And who knows what we can come up with. But this right here, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to make a lamp. I'm going to make a lampshade. I'm going to make a lampshade, yep. And we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun because it's all about having fun. Did you use water slide or vital on your cup, Ashley? Oh, hey, Ashley. Beautiful ribbon. So many people want to buy a cup because of the post. Oh, yeah? Well, tell them to... um. Tell them to contact me, because I do ship if they want to contact me. That's one of my favorite ones, and that's the most popular one, besides the girl with the pink um, glasses. She's popular, too. So, no, I used, I made that cup for her, and I made it with um, sublimation. sublimation I don't use water slide too much because for some reason my water slide doesn't accept the ink and it doesn't come out vibrant like I see other people's stuff come out vibrant but now um on my cups I use it's it's like this this is sublimation that's sublimation and I like sublimation because it's permanent, it won't come off. I like sublimation. You can still use vinyl. You can use the outdoor vinyl, or you can use regular vinyl to do, oh, excuse me, and cut it out on the Cricut. It all depends on what you want to do. I just like sublimation because it's permanent, period, dot. You don't have to worry about it coming off, and then you just put the beads on there, and um, it's done. It's just done. That ribbon was, you know, that was a bath, um, uh, what do you call it? One of those bath sponges, Ashley, and I just took, cut the string, because I saw Tracy Gordon do it. She did it, and look how long it is. I promise she was like an intestine. That's how long it is. Bingo, 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 bingo. It's that long, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something with this. I just have to show myself how to do it first. And let me just show y'all one more thing. And I'm going to bed because I keep yawning. <laughs> and I want y'all to laugh. I wanted to tell y'all about these lilies too because I got a bunch of white ones that I'm going to use to make um, probably a lamp with it too. Um, she said, I know, I know. All this daggone crazy stuff. So this girl is a little scary. And I wouldn't sell her to anybody. But... I was just trying it because I felt like it. I got these foam heads in particular to try to see if I can make her up. And this is what I came up with. With her eyes and stuff. I gave her some blinged out eyeshadow right there. You know. Some blinged out eyeshadow. I put her eyebrows on there. They're not twins, but they're close relatives. I can't do anything the same like that. But... Look at her. I gave her skin color, her lips, and I did that. Now, some people are using these to make their their uh their divas, but some of them look so scary. I'm like, I want to hang that in my house because they look scary, but I wanted to try. So now that I know I can do it, all I got to do is figure out is how to put the flowers on her to make her look better and, you know, make her eyes match because she's looking like I don't know what. With the red and the blue right there. But if you put more flowers in there and fill it up, it could be nice. And somebody might like it and put it on their wall. Or you can put our newfound friends on her and make that one look, you know, put that on there. She might look nice if you put those on there. It's all, listen, 
We could be doing all kind of stuff. <laughs> I agree. They do look scary. Some of those things were... I saw... The first one I saw, I was like... I would never... I would never put that in my house. Because I would walk past it and it would just scare me. Um, I would never do that. They do look scary. But I'm going to try that one. And I'm going to make it nice. And I'm going to see what y'all say. Because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just because I think they just, they're so scary. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. Yes, ma'am. Watch and see. Watch and see. Watch and see. And we're going to do it. So anything else y'all want to talk about? Because y'all know I'm making y'all sleepy. And I'm about to go to sleep. Because y'all know I get up with the, I get up before the roosters. Let me show y'all this right quick, though. Y'all know every time I say I'm, I'm getting ready to go. It's the preacher in me. I can't never leave the first time. Look at that. Put that on there. Bam. Look at that. Then I took it to a whole nother level. You don't even have to use that color. Any color you want. Look at that. Put that on there. A couple of rows on there. Like that. Put that around there. Cool. You can take little gems and put them down here. Just put them all the way around. Around here. Paint it whatever color you want to paint. Use use whatever you have on hand. But sometimes we don't feel like going to the store to buy anything. I always think black is just so classic. Put that on there. You can have it hanging down or you can just put it right here in between that space to cover that up or you can put gems on there however you want to do it i just think this is awesome and if you painted these black but i do have the black ones over there too you can break up that and put this on there how you think this pink would look on that black what that's fuchsia that is too cute what other colors now years ago one of my craft sisters we used to buy these, um, <laughs> we got so much of this blade wrap, it's not even funny, in different colors, because they had, they had like a 12 pack of different colors for like $8, and we was buying them up, we was just buying them, we was just buying them, and now we have all of this bling wrap, you know, you, it, the sky's the limit, you can just do what you want to do, use, play around with the colors, see what color you like best. You know, and have it your way. See, you got that on there. You got this girl over here with that color. You can put that down there on the base. Do what you want. And then put it in a box and then Mother's Day come. Oh, here you go, Mom. Here you go. Happy Mother's Day. Or to your sister or to a friend, a co-worker, whatever. Oh, hey, make it for yourself. And you know what? Y'all can print your own pictures out and put your own pictures on there. If you want if you if you wanted to do that put your own picture on there that's what I did put your own picture on there and I said I was going mine is downstairs in my living room and I said I was going to move it and my husband was like no you're not leave it right there so it's still sitting there because it doesn't match my living room that's why I was going to move it cuz it doesn't match my living room but y'all could do this, I put this, remember I showed y'all this on the um, orange girl? You can put a strip of this on it. Make it gold. Paint it black and put gold on there. Or leave it white and put the gold on there. However you want to do it. There's so many different things that you can do with this. These things. I'm just really excited about that because now I gotta what you say Ruth? Now you gotta go back and get some more candle holders. I have eight, I think. I four, yeah. I think I have eight. I bought four, four black ones and four white ones. And they had the two different kinds. They had the um, they had the round ones and they had the square, the square ones. Both sides are square. So I got two of each kind. And, of course, Rhonda was standing there looking at me like, 
You have enough stuff. Why you keep buying stuff? Because I am. And I'm going to use them. If y'all could have seen her trying to put that glue on these flowers on Sunday, though, it was so funny because she was, I can't do this. I can't do this. I don't do this. That's what you do. I don't do this. I, 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 I. No, no, no. No, 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 no. How did she say? She was in there having a fit. Every time she put a dot of glue on it, I was like, oh my God. Like, she's so dramatic. If y'all could have seen it, it would have just been hilarious. Because there's something wrong with her. But she was cracking me up. I don't do arts and crafts. That's you. I don't do that. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I said, well, your fan said that you need to um make a... Uh, a co a coaster, you need to do it. No, I'm not doing it. I put the ink over there and let her do it, and the thing turned out so pretty, and she was so proud of it. I said, "See, like, what's the problem? Are you the, just let your mind flow, and you'll see what happens." And it came out better than mine on that one because I don't know what I was doing with that one using that silver and that gold metallic stuff. That stuff, woof. But anyway. I'm about to yawn again, so I'm going to bed. But, oh, 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 excuse me. I wish it was a way we all could. I seen this guy this morning. He's, he had um him and a friend of his, that's another crafter. They did a challenge. They all had the same items, and they all had to come up with something and make something. I saw his, but I didn't see hers because I didn't see the link to go look at hers. But. I think that would be a cool idea for us. Even if you don't have a page, make something and we can share the pictures and see what each of us came up with. I think that was a cool idea. They had the same exact items and they had to each come up with something. They had like six different things that they had to use to make whatever. I thought that was a great idea. And... You know, even if we all could get together on a Zoom and be like, look, I made this, I made that. I think that would be cool. What kind of glue did you use to attach the flowers? I used a glue gun. I used a glue gun. I used this. This is the little one. I've been had this a long time. But my other one is in my suitcase that I didn't unpack from Sunday. Yeah, that would be a cool idea because we could just... We could find out what everybody has, though, and that would be kind of hard to find out what everybody has. And you can't even say go to the Dollar Tree and buy this, that, or the other because most of the Dollar Trees don't have the same thing. They don't have the same thing. So how in the world would we do that? Because I, I want to do that. I want to do, let everybody get the same items and make stuff. Now, your Dollar Trees probably do have these flowers, though. They probably do have the flowers. And if we could do something with those flowers or I don't know. Because right now I'm stuck with the flowers. I don't know what to do. Oh, Excuse me. That is so rude. I don't know what to do with the flowers other than make these lamps. But I'm so sure I can come up with some ideas with something. But that's what the challenge would be. All of us would come up. Even if we just use those and say, everybody, let's just make something with that. Who knows what we could come up with. You could add stuff, you know, to make whatever you want to make with it. But I have an idea that just popped in my head to make with it. Mm -hmm. We can do that. It's just so, like, who said that? It was, it's so therapeutic to be able to do this. It's just, it takes you into a whole nother dimension. Like, you don't care about anything while you're doing this. I don't. I don't care about anything when I'm crafting. Because it just takes me out of whatever is going on. And then I look up and I'm like, ah. <gasps> I did that. I did that. Canvas. Do whatever you want on it. I 
I hear something talking. That's why I, was, I stopped like that. But that's a good idea too, Ruth. I What was I making on the canvas before? And I just messed it all up. I was like, you know what? I'm not doing anything with canvas anymore. So now I have to come up with something to do on the canvas. I can't do these divas because I've already done two canvases with those. What could I do on a canvas? You wanted me to do something on a canvas a long time ago, Ruth. What was it? It was a oh, it was months ago. Oh, I remember. I remember. I remember. But I gotta get some bigger beads. I got to get some bigger beads because um, what I want to do on that to bling it out, I need bigger beads because my beads are so small. It would take a million of those beads if I did it on a canvas. But you know what? I'm going to try it since you said that. I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. That's going to be a lot of beads, though. You said do it on canvas or poster board? Well, I got I just bought some canvases. I got the six, the big ones, though. The 16 by 20, and I think I have one more 11 by whatever that is. 11 by 17. I have one more. Those are the hard ones. Those hard ones. And I, I <laughs> wound up was like, that's why she wanted me to get some other type of flowers, because I have put those holes and that canvas, and it was hard for me to try to get those holes in there. She was just like, "They gotta be another way." So, yeah, I could do that. But I got, cause I have a lot of beads. Yeah, I would do that on a smaller canvas though, because <laughs> that's a lot of beads. But I can do that too. So. How if we do it, then how are we going to get together and show each other what we did? That's what how would how would we do that? Because um I guess we would have to email each other, email the pictures, and then every everybody can post it. No, you can't do that. Because you can't post it on um YouTube. Or you guys can make we all can make a canvas, and y'all can send the pictures to me, and I'll put them on my YouTube. I'll put them on my community page, and everybody can see what we did. Or we can set up a Zoom call, and everybody show their stuff on the Zoom. We can do that. What about that? So we just need to get together. Y'all can think about it tonight, and then when we come back on tomorrow... We can talk about it because that's a good idea to just have everybody. Everybody can get cardboard. I'm pretty sure everybody can get cardboard or poster board or canvas. If you can't get a canvas, you can use a, a, a poster board or a foam board from the Dollar Tree. They have them in white and they have them in black. So how you want it? I got to make I got to make those 12 cups tomorrow, y'all. But I'll probably do those in the morning because I really don't have to bling those out. I just got to do sublimation. So I can make those in the morning. And then, um, yeah. So we need a, when are we going to do it? What's going to be the time frame that we have to do it? Who's participating? If you all would like to participate in this, then mention it down below that you want to participate. Then we know how many people will be in it. We can send pictures and instructions to you, to your email. We can we can do all of that. But how many are? On, I don't even know how many is on here right now. How many would even want to be involved in doing that? Because I think that would be a fun project. Probably Menda. She's not on there now because her phone. She had to charge her phone. But Menda probably would do it. Um, Ruth, I already know you're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Who else? Where's Creative Mom? Creative mom. I know she can do it. Where's creative mom? Who else is left on here? 
whoever else is left on here, then um, let me know if you want to be in it. Soul Deep, um, Ashley, I don't know who's left on here, but if y'all want to be on there, we can talk about it again when we come back on, Ruth, so we can see who else want to... Um, I am clearly out of the... Come on now, creative mom. I'm so sure... And Rhonda's not going to do it. Rhonda's not going to do it. Rhonda's not going to do it. But she says she draws. I've never seen her drawings, but she says she can draw. So I'll talk to her about it on tomorrow and see what she says. Because it's going to be raining. It's going to be thunderstorming here tomorrow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm not going anywhere. And I can trap her. Be like, get that canvas right there and make something. And I'm not playing. <laughs> She'll be like, I'm not doing that. I can't do that. Especially if she thinks somebody else is going to look at it. She's not going to do it. She's not going to do it. She'll, she'll try to instruct me on how to do things. But she just won't do it. I'm trying to bring her out of that. But she just, she don't want to. I didn't show y'all the white flowers. I wanted to use these flowers for Mother's Day because they're pretty. And Trinidad is very hard to... I can't see. Oh, really? Oh. See, we should have a... um. Thing, but I don't know how much shipping is over there. I mean, shipping is to there, to uh, Trinidad or anywhere else. Because shipping prices are really high. Look at those colors. Isn't that pretty? You could put that on the diva head, or you can make a vase and put that in the vase for Mother's Day. That's her bunch, and she can keep them. They'll never die. That'll be nice. Got no dollar store. Those flowers would be like, what? The flowers would be like $50? Is that what you're saying? See, I would have to check it out and see how much it costs to ship. And then ship them to you. Look at that. Those are pretty. I love purple. I need y'all to know. I love purple and I love orange in the spring and summer. And some of their flowers look very realistic. So you saw the other ones that I had on that little ugly head. Uh-oh. So you could even mix up the yellow ones with the white ones and put that on the diva head. However you would want to do it. You know what? And another thing, if you want to, and I just thought about this. With these, if you want this to stick out a little bit more, you can put one of these. You can put one of these on here. This is two in here. That's why I look so far away. You can put one of these on here. Glue one of these on here and stick your flowers in like that. Just cut the stem real, real short. Long enough to go in here, and you can use those flowers on your lampshade, too. Ooh, let's see. Y'all, I'm not used to these fingernails. So, you can take this. Put it up against this. Just glue it on there real good. And put your flowers all in here. You don't have to worry about gluing them. You just put them all on here. Nobody will see it. If you just wanted to do a lamp with flowers on it. Or you can put it on the inside. But again, it's too... You would have to cut it because it's too big and it will be touching the lamp, the um, light bulb. 
but you could do that. Or you could use half of it and say your image, you could put half of it right here because you got your image, put half of it right there and put your um, your flowers on there or put, put it on there like that and then put your flowers on there because you already have your image. Just put it right next to her head like this and then stick the stems in here. You won't even see this. And then you have your height. So if you want your flowers to be higher, you have your height. Y'all, the longer, ooh, the longer I talk, the more ideas I come up with. So you got your image. You put this, glue this on there and stick your flowers, the stems in there. If you wanted to use roses and stuff like that, instead of having to cut them up, stick them on there and do all that like I did, which takes a lot longer. To do so you could do that too so that's something else for me to try put that on there and now you really would have to glue that a lot of glue a lot of glue and you couldn't use e6000 because e6000 would eat that up so unless you put a whole bunch of mod podge on it to prime it so um the e6000 won't go, go through that but i don't really know how that would work but you have to use a lot of hot glue to put that on there so it can hold. But you can stick those flowers in that floral foam. And that would, you can you imagine how fast it would be if you did that? You'd be just sticking them in there, sticking them in there, and it'd be, all, it'd be done. You'd be like, whoa. Man, this is so much stuff you can do. There's so much stuff you can do. Even with these, if you wanted to glitter you could glitter these put your mod podge on here and glitter them it's just all kind of stuff you can use if y'all could come to my house and just see i have boxes in the hallway i have boxes on the landing right here full of stuff my sister-in-law one of my sisters-in-law brought me over some stuff oh excuse me because she was clean she was cleaning out her um basement getting rid of stuff she used to do ceramics so she had a whole bunch of ceramic stuff and a whole lot of stuff to go with it. So I have ribbon. I just have all kind of fancy ribbon. I have stickers. I have paints. Just all kind of stuff that she gave me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm outgrowing this house. We got to leave. We can't stay here. It's so much stuff. Who's going to be in the, um, your creative juices are flowing. I know, right? And I can go back to this and, um, yep, flower bell kind of thing, ball. I can't see. I'm tired. Um, get a large foam ball. Let me see what she said. Wait. Right get a large foam ball, stick the flowers in it, then glue it on camp. Oh, that's cute. That would be cute. Especially if you got a big ball. That would be real cute. But hey, that's almost like a topiary. That would be cute. That's something that will last. You won't have to worry about that. Good idea, Ruth. That was cool. I can see it in my head. Get one of those balls. And put it on there and put the flowers on there. Yeah. That would be cute. And then put those little string lights in there. Those little fairy lights. Put them in there. Let those light up. Turn that on at night. What? Now that's a nice idea. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Might have to bite that one. We'll see. But I got so many ideas going on in this head right now. I got stuff that I said I was going to try because I saw other people do it. And I have stuff in my closets. In my... I'm so sick of me. I'm sick of me. I'm going to bed, y'all, because I'm tired. I feel myself fading. Oh, we've been on for two hours, so it's, it's, it's time. It's time to go to bed. So thank y'all for joining us. And I would like to come back tomorrow night and... um. 
I don't know what we'll be working on tomorrow night, but we'll be working on something. So, let's come back tomorrow night, Lord willing, and get it together because I'm so sleepy right now. But thank y'all for joining us, joining me. <laughs> I said us, finally not here. Thanks for joining me. And if the Lord says the same, we'll be back tomorrow. So, good night, everybody. Nighty night, night, night. Yes, nighty night, 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 nighty night. Um, 7.30. 7.30. I like 7.30. 8.30 will just make me more sleepy, but I'm tired today because I went out. That's why I'm tired right now, but 7.30, Eastern Daylight Time. All right, y'all. Have a good night. I keep trying to turn it off the wrong way. What you want, Miss Kitty? You got chased back up here? Hmm? Huh?